The 50-30-20 rule, a simple budgeting strategy to achieve financial balance. If you struggle with budgeting and find it difficult to keep track of your expenses, the 50-30-20 rule could be the solution you need. This popular budgeting strategy simplifies the budgeting process by dividing your monthly spending into three categories, needs, wants, and savings slash debt repayment. By following this rule, you can easily allocate your income and stay on track with your financial goals. The 50-30-20 budget rule is straightforward and easy to implement. It suggests that you allocate 50% of your after-tax income towards needs, 30% towards wants, and 20% towards savings and debt repayment. The beauty of this rule lies in its simplicity. Instead of creating detailed plans for every expense, you can set general guidelines for each category and have the freedom to spend within those limits. To start using the 50-30-20 budget rule, you need to estimate your spending targets for each category based on your post-tax income. While there are no official definitions for these categories, here are some guidelines to help you determine what expenses fit into each. 1. Needs 50% These are the essential expenses that you require to go about your daily life. They include housing, utilities, childcare, transportation, groceries, and minimum debt and loan payments. 2. Wants 30% Wants are the extras or non-essential expenses that you enjoy but can survive without. They may include dining out, travel, entertainment, home furnishings and decor, gifts, memberships, streaming services, and upgrades to your needs. 3. Savings and debt, 20%. This category includes any extra payments you make towards savings and debt repayment. If you have high interest debt, it's recommended to prioritize paying it off first. Savings can include building an emergency fund, saving for a down payment, a wedding, or any other financial goals you may have. While the 50-30-20 budget rule has its advantages, it may not be suitable for everyone. Here are some pros and cons to consider before adopting this budgeting strategy. Pros 1. Simple and easy to use. The 50-30-20 rule is easy to implement because of its simplicity. You don't have to worry about tracking every little purchase. Instead, you can set general guidelines for each category and spend freely within those limits. 2. Allows for flexibility. This budgeting rule is a framework, not a strict mandate. You can adjust the percentages based on your needs and wants. If your needs exceed 50% of your income, you can reduce spending on wants or savings. 3. Incorporates balance. Unlike some restrictive budgets, the 50-30-20 rule ensures that you allocate a significant portion of your income towards both needs and wants, allowing you to enjoy your money without feeling deprived. Cons 1. Percentage guidelines may not work for everyone. Depending on your financial situation and the rising cost of living, the 50-30-20 rule may not be realistic for everyone. If your needs exceed 50% of your income or if debt repayment takes up a significant portion of your budget, you may need to consider alternative budgeting strategies. 2. Not a fast track to savings goals. While the 50-30-20 rule emphasizes a balanced approach to budgeting, it may not be the best strategy if your primary goal is to save money quickly. Other budgeting methods, such as the pay yourself first method, prioritize savings and debt payoff. 3. Lack Structure If you prefer a more structured budgeting approach, the 50-30-20 rule may not provide enough guidance. It requires you to balance and prioritize purchases within the wants and savings categories rather than assigning specific limits to individual expenses. To get started with the 50-30-20 budget rule, calculate your net income by subtracting taxes from your take-home pay. Multiply your post-tax income by 0 0.50, 0 0.30, and 0 0.20 to estimate how much you should allocate to needs, wants, and savings slash debt repayment, respectively. Review your current spending to see if you're on track with these percentages and make adjustments as needed. It's important to note that the 50-30-20 rule may not be realistic for everyone, especially considering the rising cost of living. 
If this budgeting strategy doesn't work for you, there are alternative methods you can explore, such as the envelope method, zero-based budgeting, or the pay-yourself-first method. When budgeting with the 50-30-20 rule, calculate your income after taxes are taken out but before any 401k or other retirement contributions are deducted. Include any contributions to your retirement accounts in the 20% savings category. Conclusion The 50-30-20 rule is a popular budgeting strategy that can simplify your budget and help you stay on track with your financial goals. By allocating 50% of your income to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings and debt repayment, you can achieve a balanced approach to managing your finances. However, it's important to consider your personal preferences and financial situation before adopting this budgeting rule and be open to exploring alternative methods if needed. As always, do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel, All Things Money, to see more content like this.